Hey guys, Tyler up here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Belgorod. Playing for today, supporting on the left, we have William H. Harrison playing as Soviets with the partisans locked in immediately. Got the radio intercept going. Team up with him is Captain Bow Wow as Soviets also going for a tier 1 star. We've got a tier 2 star, by the way, over here as well. Going for our guard motor. From the right hand side, we have uh, Pakazul playing as OKW, who has Breakthrough, Elite Armored, and Overwatch. And finally, Meow Meow with Wind. Also, as OKW with Firestorm, Overwatch, and Breakthrough. In terms of rankings here, allies are ranged team. Um, one one tennis axis random team both around 130 so up against double okw a tier one start good idea neither of the uh, okw players have gone for fusiliers yet and uh meow has gone for a kubel wagon as well it's not going to go too well against that N3A1, once that arrives. Good positions here though at the moment for Meow. Maxim rolling up now. Stumpo's ducked back behind the cover. Trying to soft retreat out and actually the Maxim failing to suppress there. Light cover working its magic, Stumpo's going to try flank. Maxim has run to the north though, so might not have an easy time flanking. Good positioning so far for William Harrison. I think the Sturmpies just revealed themselves in that corner. Maxim going to set up on the double folks. Here come the Sturmpies now. Need to switch the focus fire, and they do. Sturmpies still might have enough firepower to beat these two squads though. Indeed, it, they do. They do have a constant rolling up, but it's going to be too late. Maxim's probably already going to get forced off by then, not. Actually, here comes the N3A1 from Bow Wow, assisting in the north. What's the Kugel doing up here? Seems like a bad fight to be picking. Coming in, looking for blocking on the stern pies. And quite a lot of success with that as well. It does mean that the machine gun on the M3 wasn't firing though, with that kind of manoeuvre. Hoping to get the wide. Good time to disengage right before the base flak started firing. Oh boy, big damage from the Shrek! And down goes the N3A1. Was not expecting a Shrek that early. Good teamwork there by the random team coming up with that Sturm Pyo. That was clutch. Good maneuvering on the M3. Could have got the wide, but wasn't to be. Ford Battle Group coming up for oh, Meow. Wouldn't want that to get found by Penal. A couple of them running up. We do have Satchel Charges potentially available. Only uh, enough munis for one though. Got interrupted there. Back into it. Still guys closing in. Is currently occupied. Stempai is dropping fast. Do they have their sweep route that entire time? Maybe that explains why they're doing so little damage. I know they had the Shrek out, so I can't put that away. But that group does come up. A lot of manpower at the moment for both of the OKW players. The Packers are all oh, lost a Fox Grenadier up here and. Uh, Rebuilding that now, we do have Partisans, maybe they threw a grenade on it from Camouflage. So, uh, bit of a rough go for Packazul at the top here. Capping down the bottom now as well. Some inching into the capture circle. So 
So a double battle group for the double OKW team. You know I'm generally not a big fan of that, but they are a random team, so maybe the coordination's not there. So far, no tier 3 down yet for uh, either of these Soviet players, though. Soviet team just inching their way forwards. Definitely a bit of map control at the moment. Snipping off the wire there as well, opening up this cover a bit more. Kubo has been pretty good now that the uh, M3A1 has died. It's been uh, very valuable. Be, uh, yeah, a couple of STGs upgrading at the moment for Packers all. Penal's coming in, maybe going for a cut-off play, but there's a squad camped out on there behind the sandbags. It's going to be tricky. Parsons going to creep in here with a grenade. Oh, oh boy. That's the only door out of that side, right? Yeah. Ouch. Packers all go. <laughs> Another squad down to the Partisans. That is nasty. They continue on their offensive. Reasonable time to retreat there. Kugel being used in the detection mode at the moment. Moving around very slowly. Suppression kicks in on the penals though. Tier 3 just completed for Bow Wow. Got combat engineers back here for William Harrison as well. It's probably going to be next for him. And T70 in the build. Looks like uh, Meow Meow trying to get a very early Shred Panzer headquarters down. There's so much manpower though. I'm guessing it's trying to like an overstall, but we're lucky to hold on to territory at this rate. No. Uh, Great yet on the fault communities either, so this is kind of dragging the team down, honestly. And so light on units at this stage. Could be about to suffer in the face of this T70 as well. Hasn't gone for a kitten. Oh, nasty Shrek there. Triggering the mine. Here comes the T70. Combat engineers trying to hold the line, but the MG's there, so they're going to get forced away by the suppression. He's trying to hide behind the fence, maybe look for a Faust, but it's not going to happen. And Bauer actually doubling up on the light vehicles. Going for an M5. I wonder if this is going to see a quad upgrade. It does have plenty of munitions to do that. Shrepan's headquarters is coming up, but it's facing the wrong direction, so if a unit does come from this side, the gun will have to spin around before it starts firing. It's kind of like little delays do stack up to make some uh, problems sometimes. Just has enough to upgun this as well, in terms of fuel. But yes, yeah, getting up relatively safely. Got the raketen out now for Meow Meow. There we go, flak base up guns. Focusing the unit inside the building first. Penal's charging in, but the flak gun switches over to them next. So there they go. as well for William Harrison. 
it also with the Rakitin. There it is, connecting. Feels like William Harrison's T series may be a touch slow. Oh, another ambush with the Partisans and Packers all losing another Fox Grenadier to them. Ouch. Was well, a bit of a retreat opportunity there, but doesn't find the time. Okay, gonna come through for the Faust. The Rakitin did get forced to retreat. No Faust. Ooh. Is he gonna have a nice long chase down? Doesn't chase that far though. Okay, I thought maybe. <laughs> Maybe scared about the base dive after the uh, M3 loss we saw earlier, M3A1. There we go, quite gross that Kubel in no time. Now the Heavy Mortar coming in for Bow Wow could put down a pretty good siege in this area with the Heavy Mortar. X is still a long way off their medium tanks. But yeah. Generally, I'm a little bit surprised the Axis aren't losing this by a, a larger margin. Given Pakazul has lost three Fox Grandies now. And uh, Meow Meow has been floating like 500 manpower just about the entire game. I've actually uh, still got the lead in terms of VPs at this stage. Tier 4 Tech up for William Harrison. Gonna start upgrading these conscripts now. You can see those coming online with the seven man. And Parson's gonna try sneak in yet again. Okay, looks like the heavy mortar going after the tech building. Sure, Pan's headquarters, not the battle group. Does have the upgrade on that now with the Ford retreats, so it's gonna be pretty tough to dislodge Meow on the bottom. up the uh, sweeper, spot to mine over there. Another one though, a little bit too far away from the sweeper. We're going to take a shot from the Rakitin here. Might have some pathing issues with that tree back there, but the Rakitin misses. Do you see coming in from the other angle? Next one, machine gun down in the north. Stolen away by William Harrison. Was that another grenade by the partisans kind of looks like it and they picked it up as well double flak base is getting to work on those penals didn't drop too many models though a little bit surprising and the forward retreat really working well here for meow meow the double light vehicle can't really pressure them that far oh but the double heavy mortars rolling in now I mean, imagine if they were just barraging here right at this timing. Looks like they are going to continue to focus on the Shredpanzer headquarters, though. About 30 fuel away from a medium tank construction. Looks like Meow Meow finally spending through that float, though. Second Ober, second Rakitin. So these double light vehicles for Bow Wow are going to have to be on their toes. Ober's taking a blasting as soon as they... Uh, Come out of the structure. Try to plant another mine here, but interrupted. Just see in the north, taking a kitten shot. So the quad. Penal's upgrade with the PTRS, interesting. Maybe worried about a tank coming through shortly. Choosing upgrade one. Oh, there we go, the quad's not too far away. Picked off by the Rakitin there. Another vehicle has been lost in the defense and then, of you know, doesn't have to retreat too far, can easily build back in. Did the double mortars get forced to retreat? They did, so it's going to relieve the pressure. Could maybe find some time to repair up that tech truck. Okay, once again, the uh, Parsons try to sneak around here, but they come out of camo. So they managed to get back in. Suppression though, scaring off that squad. Got a T-34 up here now for William Harrison. Pretty good timing on that. 
15 minute mark after building a T70. Okay, here we go. Mass smokes coming down. Mass penal satchels looking to come through for bow out. Concussive grenade though, that's kind of cheeky. Doesn't look like it slowed things down too much. And that is a dead Shwe Panther headquarters. T-34 doesn't even need to get involved. One down. Just as Meow Meow maybe could have built a tank as well. You need like an over there to throw the grenade into the smoke. Oof! Big damage from the heavy mortars. The penals did all retreat away, so there's nothing guarding them at the moment. It's a full retreat from Meow Meow. Senior grenades, cheeky stuff over the fence, damaging that machine gun. There's a four out now for Packazool. Loser, another fault screen here. It's a little bit unfortunate. T70 getting some good hits. Treating both of these squads now as well. Though still ahead on VPs. Time to rebuild. Looks like a third Raketon coming in for Meow Meow. Is this going to be a King Tiger still? Kind of seems like it might be. Bring this tech truck out. Yep, yeah, it's going to be the mechanized truck going down. Does also have the option of, you know, building a walking Stuka. Could be a pretty nice counter to the double heavy mortars. Yeah, it looks like they're using the time fuse now since they've vetted up. Get to work on the Shred Pins headquarters of Packazil next. Yeah, Obers though, pretty scary for these penals. Just completely overwhelming Bow Wow at the moment down the south. T70 though, doing a good job. Machine gun in the middle getting mounted. survive though or is it no it's not kitten misses again bit of a lucky break for that t70 she is could pick that up so they're not going to at the moment panzer 4 rolling through t34 up here with their damage engine t70 also very healthy so <laughs> William Harrison having to concede a lot of territory up here in the north so Bow Wow jumping on the machine gun T-485 in the south for Bow Wow now forcing away one raket and the other one though getting through for some damage and a third one somewhere close by as well Okay, he's ready five next for William Harrison. Good option to help contain that Panzer IV up there. Good news for the Axis is the heavy mods haven't really been able to stay set up. Just blast away for minutes at a time. The uh, strong infantry of them. Meow. Doing work there. The vehicle active on the P4, just trying to force it away here. Trying to hunt it down. Here come the Obers again, forcing away the double heavy mortars. Guns of four coming back in. Scout plane and got shot down. Guns of Panzer IV, this is back there though. Just out of sight range here. T25 rolling into the north now though. Nothing up there at the moment for Packazool. Once again, is uh, floating quite a lot of manpower. Looks like Meow Meow just going straight for the King Tiger. Not going to make a pit stop at the Walking Stuka. But yeah, Packazool really needs to start spinning this. I imagine second Raketon. Maybe a Jagdpanzer on the horizon as well. Yeah, 
vehicles down south, but the Dobra kittens are there as well. Could be Death of C70 if the Shrek connects. Stumpire is dropping too fast though. Have to give up on that attempt. Dobra kitten positioning here for Packazil. Doesn't quite get the T34 kill though and has to disengage. This is where he's really feeling the impact of not building anything with all of that manpower. Lacking the field presence at the moment. This is rolling up for William Harrison. Oh, the conscripts dropping fast. Could go down. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh, there we go. Sturmpies did end up dying there. And so did a Rakitten. Got another Rakitten rolling up. Faust connecting on the T70. Dangerous retreat channel with the heavy waters coming down. Looks like he got through there though between the shells. Right the Faust not able to get it. P4 appeared back up. Pairing up the Schwerpanzer headquarters as well. Not a bad idea. Finally spending some of this manpower float. second raquette which I think is a, a good choice up against you know three tanks from William Harrison looks like maybe Packers all gonna save something larger though maybe a panther could also be a yag tiger I suppose so he's locked into his commander Meow Meow has gone for overwatch Four eighty-five for bow out in the build. So we're kittens rolling down to the bottom here. Good timing to disengage there for bow out. Still end up taking two shots though. Kittens rotating to the eighty-five. And missing. MG thirty-four though, stopping the OKW advance. Oh. Sneaky Partisans waiting back here. Oh boy, the Rakitten's there. T34 a bit slow backing away. Could be going down. No, the Rakitten actually retreating here. Under pressure from the Conscripts. Make some decrews. It's ready five and hot pursuits. Ooh, lucky break there for Packers or getting away with that. He could have been a dead. Hands of four. What was that? Let's play here from Packazil. Going for the kill on the decrypt machine gun. Interesting. Got the Sturmpires rolling around the corner. Doesn't look like they have the Shrek upgrade though. If they could, they could shut down this uh, T70. Oh, there's the second Rakitten though. of them upgrading the uh, Shrek either. I'm not sure what these Sturmpies are really doing right now. There's a Panzer IV waiting back here to get repaired. They're just kind of bleeding manpower to the tanks. Let's get Vet 3 with 7 man upgrade so this is not going to work either. Did you hear the King Tiger rolling up? Vehicle active on that at the moment. Both these commanders with marked vehicle by the way so we have plenty of that going around. Haven't seen uh, much spy network activation yet from Will William Harrison. Triple uh, engineers, maybe one of those is a... no, it's just triple engineers. Expect a lot of mines to be coming up as well. Actually he's coming in quite deep here. Oh, but they go down real fast. T70 and T34 knocking them out very quickly. KT advancing. And missing. Demons not upgrading PTRSs, so no sticky satchels. Don't 
Cowboy Kittens in the center of the moment for Pakazul as he tries to cap. He's ready five for a team down for William Harrison to assist against that King Tiger. Oof, big damage on the Overs. Strange Caddy into the center. Double Kitten setting up though. On the uh, SU-85 though, they were in range of the Katusha. Maybe that could have gone down there. And it was indeed the uh, Panther for Pakazil. Maybe you're going to go hunting for this SU-85, but there's a mine there. Oh, stops just short of it. We're getting spinning around. T-34 could be in some trouble here. Should go down. Oh, wow. Early retreat from that Rakitin. This one goes down. I feel like that should have been a T-34 kill from Pakazil. Instead, he loses a Rakitin. I was dropping pretty quickly though, so it's playing it safe. And now the uh, battle group getting blasted by the double heavy mortars on the time fuse. So they switch angles though into the center. Kept up with the regular barrage, they might even go down. Ooh, friendly mind triggering. Double heavy mortars in some trouble, got the double overs and the king tiger there. One mortar down. Other one's also going to fall. The double over shredding it. It's almost constant night vehicle planes up in the air. Looks like a shot down again. Good news for Meow Meow taking that down, so now the tech truck not going to be in trouble. We've got the stern post, so we can start to repair that as well. The tiger getting pretty close to Vet 1 now as well. Once it gets that spearhead mode, we've seen it become a real handful. So like Bow Wow though, does have the S-85 about to pop out. Ooh, those overs though. Getting the work done. Here comes the Kachusha Rise, close range. Double Rakitin's in some trouble. We are ring down, hoping for the anti-tank grenades. Close call on that Rakitin, looks like it's going to get away. Double T-34 is advancing, got the Mark vehicle and the SU-85. Everything focused on the King Tiger and down it goes without the Rakitin support. Couldn't get away fast enough. Panther comes through but triggers the mine. Now that's in some big trouble. We've got the planes coming down from Meow Meow. Panther 4 coming down as well for Pakazul. Looks like the Panther's going to be able to get away. I don't think the Panther 4 should be advancing. It's nice to go up the chase. Still the Axis with the VP lead, up by about a... 80 points. So in spite of taking some big losses. Still doing pretty well in that department. You see though the army sizes are starting to get a little bit out of hand. Allied leaves. Really stretching itself now. Okay, is this decrew? That's a good start. And they're coming up here. Looks like he's just going to kill that off. Panther missing, and the East 5 finishing off the Zis. Interesting. <clears throat> just constant my vehicle action from the Allies. A little bit of damage on the 85. Pinned. On the penal. Okay, 
Okay, not, not the best Katusha barrage, but reasonable targeting on it. Looks like S-35 wants to knock out the next tech truck. Starting to work on that. Rocket positioning. Going to need to be sharp here for Meow Meow. Coming in from the side. And Packers are also locking into Overwatch, dropping in the planes, looking to save the Shred Panzer headquarters from the double S-35s. Rocket missing. S-35 in some trouble here. Panther charging forwards. Oh, misses the kill shot though. Probably needed to pop the blitz, but didn't have the munis for it. So, bit of a good fortune there for Harrison. V3 S-285 escaping. But Packersville did manage to save the tech truck, so, so it's mission accomplished. Oh boy, we've got a second Katusha coming in for William Harrison. We all know how strong that can be. Supply network Katusha combo. advancing here though. Here comes one Katusha close range on this Rakitin. Trying to retreat but he doesn't make it home. Now the Rakitin though getting a couple good hits in the squad wanted to jump on but rockets are still landing. He's going to try and jump on it. Will it be able to get away? No. Instantly decreed by the T-3485. Oh, he's making assault here with all of his armor the other Rakitin also going down there we go still losing both of his double Rakitin's coming in from the side okay there goes one tank the T-70 this T-34 biting off a bit more than it could chew Panther not pursuing it though Bauer has run out of munitions for his marked vehicle activations. Still plenty left for William Harrison though. I'm just coming in from the side. Opportunities from the other. Could be a decor on this Maxim. Uh, oh, slow to get up here. Maxim outright destroyed. Not able to retreat in time. P4 Panther combo coming up here. Seemingly backing away though, might have heard this coming from the fog. The connects though, hits vet 2 as well, it's going to be nice, a bit of extra armor. Blitzing in after it with the Panther. Is he going to stop for one more shot? No. Gets the shot on the move though, Mark Vehicle activated now. T34 comes in for the ram, but it doesn't penetrate. Very good news for Packazil. Conscripts are going to get the anti tank grenade off. No Rakins anymore for Packazil, even though he's got more than enough manpower. Never rebuilt them. Hands of four coming around the corner. And we can flank around the S-35. Double Faust going to get the engine crit on it. Hands of four having all sorts of parving issues though. I finish off the T-34 but Bouncer is going to have to rely on the maybe double Faust to finish that now. Here comes the Caddy Barrage into the north. Panther still with Mark Vehicle on it. Takes a big shot from the East 85 Oh and down it goes! The focus side mode and the rate of fire on that Vet 3 East 85 just too strong. Second so can be up here now for William Harrison, but the job's already done. Panther goes down. And engineers do fall. I just have to settle for killing this Katusha. No, he's, I mean, uh, T-34, but he's actually out of munitions. No more Fouts available. And T-34 coming up from Bow Wow. Chasing away all this OKW infantry up here. Got a fresh Kin Tiger out for Meow Meow. Hackers all finally rebuilding these double kittens, but maybe this could be invested into another tank. I don't know why he's queuing up two of them at this stage. There goes the T-34. But man, if that Panzer IV wasn't having those parving issues up here, could have maybe flanked around the S-35. 
and that could have gone really, really right for Packazil, but didn't quite work out in the end. They might have a harder time down the south now with that uh, S-35 also out. Triple S-35s for the Soviets. Oh boy, big shot. Slow to react. No reaction. Okay, there he goes. Conscripts. Not going to finish the job though. Okay. Yeah. Triple uh, SU-85 is going to make the tank play quite difficult. And they've got... Okay, Jagdpanzer. Pretty good idea, I think, for Pekazu, honestly. I still have to go head-to-head -to -head against the Vet-3 SU-85, though. So it's going to be tough. I have to be patient, I'd say. Wait until that Jagdpanzer gets Vet-2 before doing anything too ambitious. Just uh, blocking the cap in the north. Can just back off and wait for the self healing up there. Keep them missing. Might connect him though. Jackpans is up there as well, getting going. There's double Kachushis. No, nope, one into the south. Oh, T34 goes down. Not sure what happened there. Good pick off there for Packers. Or Vehicle on the KT, but the S35 is quite far away still. I'm just chasing this off. Comes S35. In fact, the Vet 3 S35s come down here as well, but the double kittens are also here. Kachusha, oh boy, you could see he was starting up a Kachusha, but I decided to cancel it, so only one rocket came through. Another T34 goes down. It's time for Bow Wow. Oh, and the planes are dropped in now as well. T-34 hanging on by a threat. I mean, uh, S-35 hanging on by a threat. So a tiny bit more damage from those anti-tank planes, and that was gone. They can't do advancing, but that's 2 on one 3 on one in fact. The rockets are there in support. Not able to get any damage done. Well, did end up surviving, so that's good news. Shot down all the planes. You can see the Allies falling behind in terms of territory control on the back of that push from the Axis. And two, you know, T-34s falling. Just need a couple good Katusha barrages, though, and that will... Uh... Oh, here we go, double caddy. To the north, there goes the Volkswagen from that one on to like the Panzer IV region. I'm gonna hit too much with that. Allies pushed all the way back here, had a lot of repairs to do. Uh oh, Quad could be in some trouble. Dodging away, pop the speed boost as well. Oh boy, this Rakitin could get decrewed. Double penals, hoping for it. Looks like it's going to get away though. Fox tree deer. I don't know where saw that to the uh, Kachusha. Oh, is ready five? Wow, it had a good run there. A couple misses, but so much anti-tank in that small area, still couldn't get away. So man, it was looking. Grim for the Axis not too long ago. They're probably down by about 40 army size in total, but now they've sniped off a lot. So it's uh, just got back to even. Okay, planes coming in. Axis all losing a stern pie through the center. really a fan of that plane activation especially now that there's anti-air around I'm not going to get very much value out of this and 
Good on the stern post for Packersville. He really likes having the double stern post. Now, well, so low on fuel, having lost all those tanks. And very poor fuel control over the last couple minutes for the Allies. And they will rebuild his armor. And Harrison going for another T-34. Needs a T-34 to keep the Obers honest. 34 kills on those Obers, by the way. That is monstrous. They're not even, you know, not even at 5 here. How about the other ones? 44, 32. Big damage, slow reactions from Packerzul, and down it goes. Let's get his Panzer IV away. But yeah, I think there's been a bit of a recurring theme for the Axis, just slow reactions to when they're getting barraged by artillery. It's added up to quite a few wipes. Just about another one there as well. And uh, especially Packers or maybe, you know, when he's microing in two areas of the map. Quite bad reactions, but there we go. Snipes off that T-34 in no time. Good raketing positioning. Oh, they're both vetted up, but maybe losing sight of the S-285. No attack round attempts either for the scatter shot. So the uh, S-85 survives. Allies though very low on VPs. Okay, the rolling up from the south. We have a quad way at the bottom for some reason. Sure pants he caused by the way covering this VP. Very aggressive positioning for that by Meow Meow. It's gonna make it tough for the Allies to contest. They're already hurting for territory. Oh boy! The caddy onto the double red kittens. And down the other one. Also down. Monster caddy barrage. That is exactly what the allies needed. Good to follow up on this one. Because those tanks over here could do something maybe to save this. Not even needed. All pretty healthy. Could mobilize them, get them uh, more involved this up with the uh, stern pose, which is weird. He did have a fault tree there instead. That would have been the better option. Under fire. Under 35s now hunting. A lot of mines coming out for William Harrison. This guy's getting revealed. Treaty's charging past them, now retreating. B-35's coming up. B-4's back and eye. Penal goes down over here to the King Tiger, I'm guessing. Maybe the Obers. 71 points left for the Allies, though. Oh boy, Yagpan's over here in a 2 on 1 again. Oh, and everything connecting from the s 35s Unfortunate for Packersil. Aggressive SU-85 action there from William Harrison. It pays off. Yow has a lot of resources. Is he saving for a panther as well? We fuel off that still. Packers all just instantly losing that raquette and then Kachusha's really on points. His last couple barrages. Oh boy. No, it's got to survive. Double P4s though getting well contained. What's the squad doing? Trying to sprint forwards. 
It's a priest though, Dobra Kid's opening up on the quad and down it goes. Blasting away at the T45 Zis Barrage, having trouble scattering over the elevation there, just not getting anything done. Machine gun decrewed, overs low though. Backing all the way. This mechanized truck is back here for some faster repairs. Hobbies really want to complete the capture here, but the T70 looking to deny. Doesn't deny. Panzerform missing though. T70. Gonna chase him for the wipe. But just missing every shot at the moment, not doing almost any damage to the Overs. This is really bad luck for William Harrison. Easily could have got the kill there, but. He's only having a nightmare. Crew, for Enemy 65 points left for the Allies. And here we go. Crackers are going to drop in the planes, trying to deny the cap in here. here comes the Kachusha going after the Overs. They're quick to react, though. Machine gun doesn't get out of there, though. Treaties crawl in, another Kachusha onto this squad, they dodge away from it nicely. Fox Treaty is suppressing here, good staying power. So the Axis hold on to that center, well done. Good machine gun action there, I think he's got the... He's gonna have the extra sight now, long sight on that highly vetted MG34. Here we go, WS-35 rolling up. Night vehicle on the King Tiger as well. The kitten coming in from the side though. Could be a bit 3 s 35 going down. Nicely done there by Packazil, picking one of them off. WS-35 rolling up on the King Tiger, but we've got Rakittens now from Meow Meow. Machine gun forced away, still can't do the cap behind that. Thanks to the tip truck. The dodge on the Rakitten. I was getting there alive as well. So long VPs now for the Allies. They are desperate. Gonna make another dash into the center of this machine gun in some big trouble. So that's gonna get decrewed. Planes coming in for Meow Meow this time. Rebuild on the quad for Bow Wow. So we'll get shot down eventually. In the meantime, quite a lot of damage. The kittens coming through on 85. Comes the caddy. Oh, this could be nasty on these double kittens. Good reactions though from Meow, dodging with one, treating with the other. Molotov out. So far, dodging most of the damage. King Tiger though back up to speed. Getting aggressive down the bottom, Mark Vehicle active on that again, but not much there to shoot at it. Double Obers ripping into this machine gun. It's 35 getting aggressive here. The sector is at risk. though for Packazil. Was that a, uh... Yeah, it is. It's a uh, creeping barrage from Kachusha. I thought so. Seems kind of like 
slowly going backwards. Don't see that used too often. Just hear me doing good work up in the north, but a couple of points going to drain off the allies. Two points neutral at the moment. Max is trying to get something down the center, but double retreat on the uh, Rakitans. Oh boy, look at this. We've got a Goliath over here. That could be nasty. Oh, the Panzer IV in the north, that goes down. So we the uh, machine gun to the Kachusha Barrage. 17 points left for the Allies though, they're in some trouble, P4 blitzing. Did have the opportunity of maybe driving back in with the P4 and trying to flank around, but playing it safe, understandable. Recruit that machine gun. Little kitten still waiting back here, could be getting involved a bit more. Here comes the Goliath, a lot of craters. Go for the machine gun, it looks like. Ooh, revealed itself a tiny bit too early, though. It gets taken down by the vehicles. Another caddy barrage, going to clear off that machine gun again. Ober's going to charge straight into the caddy fire, though. And they take quite a lot of damage. So do the Rakins that were just sitting there. Mark vehicle active on the King Tiger again. Plane got shot down fast, though. So are the planes from Meow's sector assault. Rakitin's coming in though for Pakazul. Just heated fighting over the central VP. Seems like the Allies, though, are pulling ahead with those Katusha Barrages, just slowly but surely getting the wipes. Ooh, lucky break for that T-34 getting away from the uh, quad with kittens. Conscripts refuse to budge in the center. King Tiger coming back in. Suppression kicking in from this machine gun. Double overs on the run. Four double kittens coming in, but so is the SU-85. Depends if we're in some big trouble. Activating the blitz. SU-85 missing a crucial shot. Might allow this to get away. No, SU-85 chases past. Finishes the job. Machine gun going down. Double kittens chased away by the conscripts. Double stern pies though, capping in the north. T-34 heading up that direction. Doesn't look like this is going to be enough to drain any points, though. Is that Mark Vico on the King Tiger again? Just constantly activating that. Yeah, I was almost wondering if maybe Packers or should have maybe tried like a, a deep Panzer IV flank. Trying to go hunting for some of this rocket artillery. Especially with the uh, Panzer IV like earlier that was no vet. Pretty expensive, but if you take down two of these vet up Kachushas, definitely worthwhile. Okay, secure mode action from the T-3485, but King Tiger heading down here. Gets out of there before the decap completes. Trying to cap in the north. There goes a T-34 up here. The Dubra Kitten striking again. You can see Catty going after the Dubra Kittens. They're on the retreat. Need another Catty for these Obers over here though. They are solo dominating this point. 
Another T-34 rolling up though for William Harrison. Going to try to prevent the cap. There's a mine there on the retreat path of the Overs as well. Double Rakittens. Combining with the King Tiger. King Tiger getting the decor on the machine gun. There goes a S-35, but it's only abandoned. Panther taking a hammering, having to back off fast. Oh boy, big rocket artillery damage. Empire's getting away. Good work here by the Axis, though. It looks like the Allies are about to drain out. It goes an SU-85, the double Rakitin striking again, and the allies throw in the towel. Wow, well done by the Axis. I feel like the allies should have had a stronger early game, considering, you know, the way the Packers all lost a couple squads to the uh, Partisans with their cheeky grenades from Camo and Meow Meow floating like five to 700 manpower for a large portion of the game, but didn't amount to much of an advantage in the early game Honestly, Axis getting to the medium tanks relatively smoothly. Did have one tech truck down for Meow Meow. But rolled that into a King Tiger without too much issue. But yeah, the uh, Katushas were doing some big work for the Allies, but the Rakitans back the other way, sniping off T-34s constantly. And these uh, double overs were a real menace. Bow Wow struggling to contain them. 57 and 50 kills respectively. King Tiger, enough of a distraction. You know, came through, landed a couple shots here or there, but constantly a threat, forcing the mark vehicles, forcing the rotations of the armor. Kind of just a thorn in the Allies' side. Not really devastating, but enough to close out the show when the Allies were low on the victory points. Well, anyway, guys, we'll wrap on that. If you like your game, if you cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.